After many years of delay, Starliner is finally about to send the first astronauts to the ISS. Even after securing its launch license, Starliner faces a slew of challenges and risks from liftoff to the return journey back to Earth. Despite being on the cusp of its first crewed mission, unforeseen circumstances led to its postponement. The cause of the scrub was identified as an issue with an oxygen relief valve on the Centaur stage on the Atlas V as confirmed by NASA. So what are we looking at in terms of risks for Starliner's inaugural crewed mission? On the evening of May 6, Starliner will embark on its much-anticipated first crewed mission known as CFT-1. This historic event comes a full decade after Boeing clinched the coveted commercial crew program contract from NASA. Originally slated for liftoff in 2017, CFT-1 is finally taking flight to albeit more than seven years behind schedule. With the clock ticking on the ISS remaining operational years, it's imperative for Starliner to fulfill its mission, starting with CFT-1. Yet, as they say, the path to success is rarely smooth sailing. Starliner's upcoming journey is brimming with challenges. Having undergone rigorous testing to meet NASA's standards, including recent quarantine and dress rehearsal tests, Starliner is primed and ready for action. The crew will reactivate the spacecraft, testing its performance in the vacuum of space. As for the remaining agenda, it's all subject to the whims of space and other operational plans. As the mission draws to a close, the crew bids adieu to the ISS, likely on day 8 of their docking. Undocking is scheduled for six and a half hours post-departure. Right manually, Starliner begins its descent towards Earth tracing a path back home. With precision and grace, Starliner re-enters Earth's atmosphere, relying on its trusty heat shield and parachute system for a safe touchdown. Splashdown in the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean marks the triumphant conclusion of the CFT-1 mission. And that, my friends, is the journey of a lifetime, a testament to human ingenuity and exploration if all goes according to plan. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, uncertainties still linger, especially considering this is Starliner's maiden crewed voyage, indeed with each step of the mission a myriad of risks loom large. The next potential risk looms menacingly from the launch vehicle itself, the Atlas V. While one might assume its flawless track record over the past decade assures a smooth ride, recent trends suggest caution. But the dangers don't end there, Starliner's internal systems harbor their own set of risks. Boeing's revelation of two critical errors last year, including a flammable adhesive tape covering the wiring system, underscores the need for rigorous safety protocols. While Boeing has been diligently rectifying these issues, the inherent risk remains a looming phantom for this mission. Upon rendezvous with the ISS, another hurdle presents itself, the connection process. The utilization of the Calypso prototype, which previously failed to dock with the ISS in December of 2019, raises concerns, particularly with two astronauts aboard, whether Boeing has addressed this issue remains uncertain, yet its recurrence could pose a dire threat to the crew's safety. As the mission nears its end, attention shifts to the crucial re-entry phase. The heat shield, a critical component during re-entry, demands meticulous scrutiny. Recent concerns surrounding NASA's Orion spacecraft's heat shield highlight the importance of through testing, especially for newer vehicles like Starliner. Any malfunction in this system could expose the spacecraft to destructive heat levels during re-entry. Similarly, the parachute system, responsible for the spacecraft's descent, warrants careful consideration. But as one of the factors contributing to Starliner's delay last year, extensive upgrades and testing have been conducted to bolster its reliability. However, lingering uncertainties persist, accentuating the need for contingency plans to address potential landing risks. In essence, while Starliner's mission holds immense promise, vigilance and preparedness are paramount in navigating the myriad risks that accompany space exploration. Certainly, the array of risks surrounding Starliner's crewed mission is a cause for concern, albeit not a guarantee of failure. It's important to approach these potential challenges as part of a comprehensive risk assessment, acknowledging the complexities inherent in space exploration. Should any unforeseen issues arise during the mission, contingency plans must be swiftly enacted to safeguard the crew's safety and mission success. Following Starliner's competitiveness with SpaceX's Dragon, the landscape of commercial spaceflight is dynamic and ever-evolving. While NASA initially leaned towards Boeing due to their long-standing partnership, SpaceX's remarkable track record and reliability with the Dragon spacecraft have shifted perceptions. 
Dragon's ability to exceed contractual obligations and provide additional flights underscores its pivotal role in NASA's endeavors, particularly amid Starliner's delays. Its decision to award contracts to multiple organizations in 2014 was a strategic move aimed at fostering competition and ensuring redundancy in case of setbacks. While Boeing's experience may have initially swayed NASA's confidence, SpaceX's demonstrated capability has reshaped the competitive landscape. Moving forward, Starliner's success hinges not only on its performance, but also on its ability to adapt and innovate in a highly competitive market. Several factors such as technological advancements, regulatory challenges, and market dynamics could further influence Starliner's trajectory and competitiveness SpaceX's Dragon. The Dragon spacecraft has undeniably taken the lead in the race to the ISS, showcasing its dominance with a string of successful mission. With the recent completion of the CRS-30 mission and the safe landing on April 30, Dragon has solidified its position as a stalwart of space cargo delivery. Installing an impressive 30 cargo missions overall, and 10 specifically for Dragon 2, its track record speaks volumes. In contrast, Starliner's foray into cargo missions has been modest, with only one successful mission to date in May of 2022. The stark discrepancy becomes even more apparent when we shift our focus to crewed missions. SpaceX has launched a staggering 8 out of 14 missions under NASA's program, plus a demo mission. While Starliner's CFT-1 flight remains a mere test mission, with its official operational mission not slated until 2025, Starliner faces an uphill battle to catch up to Dragon's impressive achievements. Looking ahead, the prospect of Starliner surpassing Dragon's current standing seems remote at best. Dragon's superior reliability and cost-effectiveness positions it as the preferred choice for space missions across the board. In related news concerning Starliner, the Starliner spacecraft mounted atop an Atlas V rocket stood poised at Launchpad SLC-41, ready to embark on an historic flight. Amidst anticipation and well wishes, including a message of Godspeed from Elon Musk, two astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams awaited inside the Starliner capsule. Everything seemed set for the journey to the ISS to commence precisely at 10.34 p.m. However, just two hours before the scheduled launch, the attempt came to an abrupt halt. According to launch procedures, this marked the time when ULA would commence fuel loading into the rocket. This critical process typically begins approximately four hours before launch, with the Centaur 2 stage being loaded with 4,000 gallons of liquid oxygen. The cause of the scrub was identified as an issue with an oxygen relief valve on the Centaur stage on the Atlas V as confirmed by NASA. Following this revelation, ULA issued a notice on X stating that ULA Launch Director Tom Heater 3 has made the decision to the launch team that launch operations will not continue tonight for Atlas V and Starliner. Following the scrub, fuel was unloaded from the rocket and teams are currently engaged in evaluating and rectifying the issues promptly. NASA further confirmed that the two astronauts have exited Starliner and will return to crew quarters. Consequently, leaders from NASA, Boeing Space and ULA convened a press conference to provide clarity on the situation. Further updates on this matter are forthcoming as the investigation progresses. It's understandable that the new schedule for this flight is of utmost interest to everyone. While both sides have yet to release any official information, the flight does have back updates on May 7th, 10th and on the 11th. The recent incident has undoubtedly caused disappointment but it's important to clarify that the issue lies with the launch vehicle rather than the Starliner itself. All veerers are a common challenge across various vehicles, as acknowledged by Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, a competitor to Boeing Starliner, who stated, anything with a state changed. Fuel valve systems are indeed critical components, particularly when dealing with cryogenic fuels like liquid oxygen, which can reach extremely low temperatures, such as negative 183 degrees. Celsius or negative 297 degrees Fahrenheit. While Atlas V has a reputation for reliability, its launch frequency has diminished in recent years, resulting in fewer opportunities to test its systems in practical scenarios. This vulnerability isn't unique to Atlas V, many vehicles encounter similar challenges. For instance, Starliner faced a delay in 2021 due to valve issues and NASA's SLS rocket has been scroved multiple times for the same reason before launching the Artemis II mission. Even the Starship rocket and Falcon 9's Crew Dragon have experienced valve-related problems. When comparing Falcon 9 and Atlas V, 
I lean towards Falcon 9 as the more reliable choice at present. Falcon 9 has demonstrated reliability not only in launching Dragon, but also in numerous other missions, boasting high success rates, frequent launches and extensive reuse capabilities. If Atlas V continues to experience issues, Boeing may need to consider using Falcon 9 for future Starliner launches. While this decision may pose challenges, it could ultimately prove beneficial for them in ensuring the reliability and success of their missions. The delay in Starliner's launch has undoubtedly incurred significant losses for Boeing, with more than 10 years passing since Boeing received the contract from NASA and 7 years since the initially scheduled first crew launch. The prolonged delays have had various impacts on both Boeing and NASA's plans and budgets. Moreover, this delay has widened the gap between Starliner and its primary competitor, Dragon. Elon Musk recently drew comparisons between Starliner and SpaceX's vehicles, highlighting disparities in price and progress. He noted that SpaceX completed its missions four years earlier than Boeing, attributing the delay to what he perceived as an excess of non-technical managers at Boeing. In contrast, Dragon continues to build upon its impressive track record, having launched 13 crew missions, including both NASA and private missions, and 30 cargo missions. Musk's confidence in Dragon's capabilities was evident when he remarked, the world doesn't need another capsule. What matters is fully reusable rockets and spacecraft. Despite the recent setback, we maintain hope that NASA, Boeing Space, and ULA will swiftly resolve the issues to resume the mission promptly. Our collective aspiration is for the flight to proceed safely, accomplish all its objectives, and return the astronauts to Earth as planned. These endeavors contribute to sustaining human presence in space, advancing our exploration efforts. Please, share this video to show your support for humanity's exploration endeavors. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel, and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member, so click on our perks through the link in the description below. Thanks to watching and see you next time.